and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Well, it's been a long time since I've done a stamping plate swatch review video. I have a lot of stamping plates to get through and I'm starting with Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L29. So in this video, I'll be swatching and reviewing L29, sharing with you all of my swatches along with some many ideas. And as always, you can find information on where I purchased from in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on and please like this video. These things really do help out my channel. Thank you. So I have my stamper and scraper and I also have six different coloured nail tips that I'll be swatching on to. Now I do apologise, this first swatch is out of focus but I do get it into focus. For the first swatch I'm using a lilac coloured nail tip along with my favourite purple stamping polish. Now as I have been away for some time from stamping plate videos, I am going to go over things again. So with large images like this, I do two thin lines. This just means that I'm not overloading the image with polish and that I can reach the bottom as well. So when this image does come into focus, it's beautiful. You could colour the flowers in, but I really love this colour combo. For the next swatch, I'll be using a white coloured nail tip along with a coral pink coloured stamping polish. This image is quite faint, which did concern me a little in would it pick up and transfer well or not. And to be fair, it has picked up really well and transferred. However, for me personally, I would like to have had the lines slightly thicker for the design. I do make sure that I scrape in a couple of times just so that I can make sure that I have covered the image. It's a pretty image and definitely looks better on picture than on film for some reason. For the next swatch, I'll be using a mint green coloured nail tip along with a soft blue shimmery stamping polish. I've never used this colour combo before. I didn't know if it was going to work or not, but yes, it does. And I'll be using it in the future. I also want to try it with some other light greens I have as well. I only use one brand of stamping polish and that's just a personal choice. But this small floral design works really well with the color combo. And I love finding color combos that are new. I definitely want to now create a mani using this color combo, but beautiful image though. For the next swatch, I'll be using a shimmery nude pink colored nail tip along with a burgundy stamping polish. With all of these smaller images, I do remove the excess. I use a lint roller, but you can also use things like sellotape or the back of the scraper, whatever works for you. I have started using an unused eyeshadow makeup brush to remove any little bits that I've missed. I also clean these nail tips with this brush as well. It so saves on cotton buds or Q-tips and it doesn't leave any fuzzies behind. And this image is absolutely beautiful. For the next swatch, I'll be using a medium blue colored nail tip along with a dark blue stamping polish. So with a lot of these designs, you could very easily fill them in with colorful reverse stamping. You could use watercolors, gel polishes. You could even use a sticky stamping polish and use chrome pigments for the outside lines. Florals are very popular. I never used to use them a lot, but now I do. They can really make some gorgeous manis and I love using this dark stamping polish. This is a really pretty image again. For the next swatch, I'll be using a pale yellow colored nail tip along with an orange stamping polish. This isn't a color combo I show a lot on these stamping plate reviews. Not sure really why, but I do use them for swatches. With orange colors like this, I treat them the same as browns as they have a tendency to dry really quickly, just like browns do. So I work as quick as I can so that it transfers. Now with removing the XF, if it's a gel polish base, sometimes I don't worry about removing the excess too much because you can remove it anyway. But this is another beautiful floral image. And here they are all together. So let's move on to the photo swatches and manis that I've created from Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L29. Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L29 is a stunning floral inspired stamping plate. There is in total 48 designs with 10 of them being the large full images at the bottom of the plate. And then the other 38 are the mix of different sized smaller images. There is a mix of flowers to leaves and even some insects as well like the ladybug. 
This is a great stamping plate to create spring and summer floral manis. And I like that there is a mix of size images from the small to the large. Someone recently said on my Instagram that I make stamping look so easy. And believe me, I used to be terrible at it when I first started. But by having the right stamper that works for you, along with the same for the stamping polish, I can pretty much get any plate to swatch. It is, however, practice and lots of it too. Lots of my older stamping plate videos will have tips and tricks in them, but if you're new to my channel, I do full swatches, so you'll see every image on the plate. This is just how I like to work and showcase the plates, because if I'm viewing a plate review, I want to see every image, not just one or two designs, and this is how I've practiced over the years. With these swatches and the other two plates that I did at the same time, I've not stamped in probably a good six to eight months. So you could say I'm a little bit rusty, but I am getting back into my groove again. The video at the beginning, I was like, how do I do this again? But I did make some mistakes through the videos, like forgetting to clean my stamp between swatches. So it is gonna take me a little while to get back really, really into my groove. Nicole Diary do make some very pretty stamping plates at very affordable prices as well. I purchase all of mine from AliExpress. All of the plates that are coming to my channel, I actually purchased at the beginning of 2021. So I have had these plates sitting around a long time. I have looked to see if they've brought out any more new plates, but if I'm honest, I'm not seeing many new plates. However, most of the large plates you can find in smaller versions from Nicole Diary, which I personally do really like, but I prefer to have the larger plates though. With these swatches, I did try to use more of spring and summer base colors, just because I feel that that's more of the time of year that this plate would be used for. And of course, L29 can be used alongside any other floral stamping plate from Nicole Diary as well. Nicole Diary stamping plate L29 is a gorgeous plate and it really did stamp really well. I did worry that the really fine lines of some of the images wouldn't pick up, but everything's watched first time and that is something that I really like easy pick up and transfers as swatching the whole plate does take a while especially if there is any layering designs which to be fair Nicole Diary don't do much of the only thing that I did have the bottom 10 images they are a little rough and cl cleaning them did shred my cotton wool but that is the only thing I can say was a little bit of an issue but I do have my way of working with plates that have this, which I have shown before and I will show again though. So do you like this stamping plate? Do you have it? Is it on your wish list? Let me know. Also, what do you think of the two manis that I've created that I'm about to show you? Personally, I love both of them. I will leave a list of products used for both of them in the description box below as well because I know not everybody has Instagram. For the first Manny I went with the colour base for the colour of the year 2022 and that's this periwinkle shade of blue and this colour that I've used is a cornflower blue but it's got that purpley grey undertone to it. One of my favourite colours to use and it works so well for this Manny. For the stamping polish I've used a glittery grape sparkle stamping polish. It is so pretty and does work well over the top of the base colour. It's sort of a subtle Manny but I personally absolutely love it and would 100% wear this any day. For the stamping I've used a mix of large and small designs and I feel that these two images work really well together. You will have noticed that if you've been around my channel a while that these would normally have been in my silicon hand but I'm making some changes and I hope that everybody likes how these manis now look. For the second mani I went with another one of my favourite colours and that's this dark teal blue. It's so pigmented and works well for spring and summer manis. I did think about turning this mani matte but I didn't in the end. For the stamping polish I've used a very dark green shimmery stamping polish which I use a lot in swatches. You would have seen me use this colour so many times because that dark green with that shimmer is just so pretty and it looks amazing over that dark teal blue base colour. For the stamping I've just used one of the large images on the bottom but with this Manny so that it's not every nail looks the same 
I've turned a stamper around so every nail is slightly different stamping to it. I love doing this with larger designs and again this Manny just like the first one I would 100% wear anytime. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days along with the Manny's and what products I've used. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my post and you like them please give them a like as well I'd be really grateful. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on Nicole Diary Stamping Plate L29. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glittershine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.